Hello there YouTube, um, this is just a very quick video, I just wanted to have a little bit of a discussion about this uh, Pono player that Neil Young's come out with, um, just my initial thoughts on it. Um, it's kind of interesting, I mean, from a design perspective it does look a bit kind of wacky, you know, it's nothing like an iPod and it's sleep lines, um, you know, it's, it's very distinct and perhaps it's kind of, you know, very kind of unlike an iPod deliberately and it's been kind of constructed in a way that differentiates it, differentiates itself from a whole kind of you know iPod Macfag kind of community maybe. Um, obviously this is only a prototype but I just wanted to have a quick discussion about the player and the actual concept itself. Now according to Neil Young this um, player is going to have the capacity to play music at um, 192 uh, kilohertz and 24-bit studio level recording. Now obviously CDs are 16 and they only operate at kind of 44.1 um, uh, kind of range, kilohertz range. Um, I don't know, I mean I've read a lot of articles saying you know, this is a complete waste of time, there's no real difference, you know, it's outside the realms of human hearing, blah blah blah. Um, but I, I think it's just, this is really a, a, a bold step really, to be honest. Now a lot of the music companies are actually involved in it, or apparently are involved in it. Um, but I just want to talk about the uh, design first. It looks incredibly simple. I think that the screen looks a bit kind of funky, but then again, if you've got a dedicated music player, you know, all you're really bothered about is accessing your music as fast as possible, and all the kind of extraneous stuff like video quality or, or you know, any, any of that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't think it really applies especially with something that's targeted at audio files. Now if you look at the picture, you can see that there's two well, like headphone jacks. Now some people have speculated that this is some kind of like twin headphone jack and you could, can actually have people listening to it at the same time as you. I really doubt that. Um, I would think it's more to do with the kind of audio out. We can actually connect this into a good stereo player. be interesting to see what kind of headphones come with it. I mean the iPod headphones are notoriously poor, um, apart from possibly this this new um, headphone design. But then again, in the in ear headphones for me have never been particularly effective. I think really um, it's got to be kind of you know over the head earphones rather than or over the head headphones rather than your in ear head earphones. Um, kind of just just as a side, the, the whole thing about headphones is. Um, such a misnomer, you know. There's these companies like um, Head Candy and uh, Beats Audio who make these headphones, and they're not that much better than standard headphones. What they do in the case of Beats Audio is just add a hell of a lot of bass, and Head Candy is just basically a design thing. You know, it's it's a fashion statement rather than um, a, an effective piece of high end kit. I have a pair of headphones uh, that are just kind of mid to low range. Um, Price-wise, uh, some JVCs that I think I've shown in other videos, and they work fine for me. And I've, I hear an incredible amount of dynamic range with the audio that I have. I tend to listen to on a can lossless audio, whether it's compressed lossless through Windows lossless or just the actual original WAV file. I kind of quite like having the actual original WAV file on there. Um, be interested to see what what kind of technology he actually are they actually use for this Pono player. Which is a silly name, but then again, so is the iPod. But I digress. Um, I think they're going to. Sorry. Creepy sound effect there. I think what they're going to do is use some kind of flat based compression, um, but obviously of a much higher range, and you can actually download, by the way, you can actually download um, some stuff um, from that. Sorry about that, guys. I had to uh, see to something. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, what um, would be interesting to see is uh, what kind of format they actually use, because according to the, the blurb that's come out, um, it's actually going to take half an hour to download one song um, over kind of standard internet connection. So it's going to have to probably take all night to download one album. Uh, whether it's going to be worth it, whether the actual quality is going to be reflected, um, it remains to be seen. But it's an interesting concept, and certainly somebody needs to challenge iTunes and its mediocrity, um, you know, 256 kbps EAC files 
you know, they're not 21st century. They shouldn't be representing the, the vast um, kind of pantheon of music that's available, you know, to digital to, to the uh, the average listener. Um, whether anybody uh, kind of out of the audiophile community, I hate that term, audiophile, and uh, whether anybody actually outside of that community is going to actually care enough to invest in one of these, probably going to cost a fortune, and they do look quite, I mean, obviously we're only, only going off this um, prototype, but they do look kind of quite funky, you know, they're not, they're not, they're not the clean lines and the um, design cues, you know, the likes of Johnny Ive would create. Um, but yeah, I'm really interested to see, you know, what they actually create with this, because, you know, even if it is DRM, and even if it kind of, you know, is more of an enclosed system, I think a lot of audio files, if this is actually effective, would be quite interested in getting into that, despite the fact that it's more closed loop system, more of a closed loop system, because, you know, iTunes is just not even worth bothering with. If you know, if you haven't got, you know, a significant investment in Apple products already, I don't really see the point. But it's interesting to to look at these new kind of ideas and technologies and attempts to improve things. I'm just wondering if anyone wants to leave a video response or if anyone's interested in this particular player or this uh, topic, feel free, leave me a comment, whatever. But there you go, the Pono player.